I got an artificial knee. Well, not well, artificial knee. My kneecap came off, and uh, I can show you. It'll be more. It'll be better to show you. Mm. So this is my leg. I took my skin off from here all the way up to here. Luckily, <laughs> I'm able to. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh to all the Rip Eye Hadith disciples, YouTubers, and viewers. Welcome back to a new video on Rip Right HD. And today I'm with my boy Senyo. Tell him a little bit about yourself. We need to know why I'm filming you and why this routine that you're gonna do is much harder than people think. Shout out to um, shout out to my brother Is pulling up on me. Like I was saying, that he uh, been watching my brother Is for the last few years on uh, social media, YouTube, and following him. He's kind of been motivation and inspiration for me to continue pushing myself on a daily basis, especially when it comes to fitness. Uh, I'm actually a, a survivor, a survivor of uh, hit and run accidents, motor vehicle accidents. Both times I was a uh, pedestrian on the on the side. First time I was on the sidewalk when I was 12 years old, right here, born and raised Flappers, Brooklyn. Um, right here in Flappers, Brooklyn, down the road, less than five blocks away from here. Wingate. I almost, I almost lost my life on uh, Hawthorne and uh, in Flappers. In 2001, a van ran up on the sidewalk and crushed me. Left me in a, a coma for almost a month. I, I was in a coma for a month, ICU, nine weeks. I uh, had to go straight from ICU to learn how to walk all over again, uh, rehabilitation. Uh, I was 12 years old, I came out the hospital when I was, I was 13. What was the injuries? So the injuries, uh, my knee, uh, I got an artificial knee. Well, not, well, artificial knee, my kneecap came off. And uh, I can show you out, it'll be more. It'll be better to show you out. Mm. So this is my leg. Took my skin off from here all the way up to here. Luckily, <laughs> I'm able to possibly have kids one day. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it took my kneecap off, and for them to hold my knee together, they had to take muscle from my calf, take it out, and create what they call a muscle flat. This is a muscle flat. Every time I I twitch my calf, my knee jumps. Mm. So. A lot of people won't know that I've been disabled since I was 13, which is about to be 19, well, yeah, in 19 years. About to be 32 in two weeks. And I've been disabled since then. So I went through high school this way. Uh, not only did I have this injury here, but it dislocated my hip. Uh, my hip healed that way. And uh, my leg wasn't always like this, but um, sometimes when people see me walk, they probably don't understand why, but my hip was <laughs> like this and it healed that way. So. Uh, I've been dealing with severe arthritis. I have no cartilage in my, my right hip. It's just bone on bone. Uh, so for me, I have to work out because if I don't, I'll be dealing with even worse arthritis that would possibly leave me in a wheelchair. Uh, they said that later on in life that I would, well, they told me 10 years ago that by this age that I would need a hip replacement. But um, as you can see, this is why I'm out here. So I, I won't need that hip replacement. Now, how long it took you to kind of like get back from that uh, first? So, <laughs> so from the first one, uh, it took me, uh, I because I was, shout out to Wingate Park, shout out to my father. My father used to run a program in here, a soccer program, and he was a trainer, pers uh, personal trainer, fitness enthusiast. So I was been working out from since I was born, uh, riding bikes, uh, running track. I ran this track from before it was on, from they did it over, I've been, I've been in this park. So because of that, and I was out here training hard to be like a phenom type, that's what I wanted to be, I, you know? So I was even in a like Mike commercial at that, when I was like five years old. So I was like, I was just destined to play sports to me. Like I was just destined to play sports and uh, take it to that next level, be a professional athlete. And- uh, That was taken away. That was taken away. That, okay. That's exactly that was that, that was taken away from me. So I had to after I couldn't return back to playing physically because even after my accident, when I got to high school, I was in eighth grade. I got I was in seventh grade. I did eighth grade. By the time I got to high school, I was still trying to be physically active. My doctors didn't give me the green light 
to play physically contact sports, but I still was trying to get involved because that was my aspirations. Uh, and uh, I did it with my limitations. I made my high school team at James Madison. And uh, I think I got into, I think I got into one game and made my first hit and I felt the pain. I was like, I never want to feel this pain again. So I got off the football field, um, soccer field. I think it was the same thing. I was a goalkeeper when I was before my accident and I was a special athlete. That was what made me a special goalkeeper. So when I couldn't be that special athlete anymore, I was like, oh, you know what, soccer can't be the sport anymore. And I fell in love with basketball. And that's why today I'm a basketball coach. Uh, so I fell in love with the game that I could play and not have the, the put impact on my body. And uh, that's why I, through high school I played basketball. I did not make my high, well, I didn't make my high school team, but I, you know, I played against all the top talent in the city, in the park, so, in Wingate. So from 13 to about what you say was when you like fully recovered. When I say fully recovered, I mean like that was so, the max you could have went. Yeah, so I think the max that I went was from I got hurt when I was 12. I got out, like I said, I got out 13. Like you, so you say that first year, 13 years old. You was max. I was I was hurt. I was I was I was right there. That I was done. But I, after recovery, by the time I got to 16, 17, being here, those four years, that transition. Once I got to high school, I lived in this park. Once I got to high school, and I lived in this park. Then you mentioned multiple. So now, what happened after that? So my last accident, um, uh, August, August nineteenth, twenty fifteen, uh, I was uh, hit on a uh, on a Grand Army Plaza off of my bicycle and left left. Uh, <laughs> Did they ever get? Left, they, they, nah, they never caught the person. But and like I said, there's no such thing in life coincidences everything was meant to be you got hit off your bike i got hit off my bike again after i was on a journey a fitness journey or a journey of telling my life story of getting back to as because in that 10 year span that i heard i was 17 and i i I was able to play sports and do all that i had to have alternating surgeries to fix my step so i used to be two-step walking with a limp i ended up having a limb length i sat out for a year Uh, i was in the house where i had to put a rod in my leg and twisted every day so I can even out my legs because mm. my femur was busted in my accident. So one grew longer than the other. So that's why I was walking with a two-step. And shout out to my bro, uh, Antoine, fire, crack boy. Um, when I was in first freshman year, first week of school, I was walking with my limp. <laughs> and uh, he was like, yo, every time he walked in, it looked like he dancing, doing a two-step, call him two-step. And I and I kept that and uh, I kept that chip on my shoulder from then to now. As I I embraced it, I embraced my my limitations, my mm. my the, the new story that I had to write for myself. And I've been writing it the last 19 years. So everybody that knows me personally, they all played a part in it. So I like right now I don't live my life for me. It's bigger than me. It's about we. That's all I say. Yeah. So so that second accident. Yeah, the second one. What 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 was the injuries? In the second one, I broke both of my ankles. My left arm broken too. Um, fractured my spine again. Fractured my tibia on my on my left side. My nerves are shot in my feet. I don't even know how I do it. As I sit here right now, like different parts of my foot is like numb, tingles. I deal with losing. I deal with numbness throughout the day. Um, but like I said, I have to keep the blood circulating. Keep the blood circulating. And I have to push through the injuries because that's the only way they repair. Ah, and question. <laughs> yeah. Now, from there, when did you get back to health again? When you can say like full recovery. And when I say full, to, to, the, to the max, you know? Right now. Right now. Yeah. Okay, so what you got for us today? So today I'm going to do what... I do for my daily just just daily consist of upkeeping of my body daily upkeeping of my body that i try to do uh you know be consistent with let's, so and, let's uh, go that's my t- cycle let's let's see that cycle man shout out to step man yeah, yeah, y'all see yeah, it yeah. it's no excuse it's no reason you should be in the crib eating and eating and not working out so step is going to show us 
what he does, staying so, uh, motivated. So I start off my routine, like uh, Rich said, prior foundation that I learned, like I said, it's all foundation I learned from Wingate Park. All my elders, they know me my whole life. Like we take, like we tend to take these, these things for granted as a community. That's why I'm so big about it because without my community, I don't know the type of person I could have even been. I probably would have gave up on life. I probably would have turned into a demon. Yeah. So, you know, it's that easy to be. It's easy to it's easy to follow the bad influence. So that's why I'm saying we out here doing this the positively influenced only. So foundation, my legs, no, my core, and then push, pull, fit. Got it. So, so what are we going through first? So we're gonna do I do my squats. Release that do, testosterone. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do 20 squats, then I'm gonna do 20 lunges, 10 forward, 10 backwards, then I'm gonna do my push up Alright y'all. Watch. I couldn't get in this set with him. I would have loved to. We only got one person with the camera and that's me. Let's get it, Step. Look at the look at perfect squat. There's no reason Step can do a perfect squat like this. And you can't. It's no reason. Stop putting limits on yourself. Even after being injured, what did he say? I want to still play sports. Made the football team. Made the soccer team. Lunge. Money. Money. Money, y'all. Watch it, man. This, this video is going to be a real special video for me. For everybody that follows me, man. So y'all can see, man. Motivation. This is what we came out to do, man. Motivate one another. Work step. Good, legs strong. It's not, it's not an easy thing, man. Back lunges. And them lunges ain't easy, man. Your muscles. And he hopped the fence, man. Wingate Park, Wallace closed. Look, y'all. It's regular. We've been hopping it. fences since we was younger. Two cameras, man. Two phones, y'all. We out. We out. Y'all see what we doing? Y'all see what we doing? Work step. Try this set. So the brother is using a pull-up bar right now. Now nah, you good, you good. Do your thing. Do your thing, brother. I'm with you, brother. Come on. Let's get it done. You got it. Come on. Good morning. Let's hold. Just hold. No, wait, hold on. You're struggling. Come back down. Hold on. If he ain't you can't do the pull up, just go up there and attempt to hold. Yeah, that's what he just did. That's, that's what I did. But yeah. look, you gotta breathe. You're fighting it the whole time. You're fighting it. Just hold. Just breathe. Breathe. That's a heavyweight right there. That's still there good. Go. Here you go. Let's get it, step. There you go. How much you got? What we doing over here? Pull-ups? So we're going to do 10 pull-ups. So by the end, I'll do 10 cycles. By the end of everything, it'll be 200 push-ups, 100 dips, 100 pull-ups. Nice. Good form. Keep it simple, y'all. Nice. We got a thing here when we get on these balls, it's a cycle. 
So my cycle is going to consist of doing each variation of push-up all around. I start here. That's what I, that's what I try. That's what I, that's what I try. That's what that's what I try to explain. That's what I was trying to explain to everyone else. That you know what? Get it a little bit more because I have a child to understand the process. So it's just like I was just trying to explain to them. So it's not a matter of tiptoeing around. It's just everybody. It's, 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 okay. It's Are you seeing that's your first uh, set? You start there. Yeah. First set, I start here. Then you go there. Next set gonna be here. Then it's gonna be here. Yeah, got it's it. Gonna be here. It's gonna be here. Got it. It's be here and back around. Because when you come to the park, if you do this, you should be already at 100. Exactly. Once you do that, one cycle around, you already did 100 push ups. Yo, make sure y'all support the brand. That brand right there, forever, that's his brand. We're gonna have his links in the description below, y'all. After push up, pull up, dip. Back to the, back nah, to the more. stomach, yeah. Core. Back to the core. Shout out to my pops. I'm telling you, and that's the key, like, I just try to be a father figure in most of my, like I said, I'm a mentor, coach. And I, I found a purpose, you know what I'm saying? At first I questioned, why, why me? And um, and they put a fracture even on my family. And uh, my pops lost, lost the drive to push others the way he used to push me after my accident. So it's kind of crazy that, you know, God didn't make me to be a professional after but what he did was he made me to to be a professional motivator mm. a professional influencer he gave me a testimony that i could share with the world that they can use to motivate and inspire themselves that's it that's word forever lit forever one two Excuse the wind, y'all, man. I, I, my, my usual mic that I use, man, I broke it. So that's it, y'all. Listen, 10 sets. That's his normal of that cycle right there, which is a great cycle, man. Shout out to Step taking us through one set of his 10 set routine, man. That's a Wingate Park foundation set. I'm just... When y'all hear Team Wingate, it's not all about the heavyweights, because y'all hear about the heavyweights. We muscle build and body build on all levels. We got people out here that's disabled. We come out here and we work out together. This is community. This is unity at its finest. Yes. This is black love, black excellence. Shout out to my brother Iz. Yo, we working, y'all. Stay tuned. Stay ripped, man. Salah had salah had jasadu kulluhu. And when that lump of flesh.